Hello and welcome to core class. All right, shoes are optional. If you would like to wear some, you totally can, or you can totally do this barefoot. I do ask that you bring with you pieces of equipment today. It would be a towel. We're gonna to use this for gliders. So I have a hardwood floor. A towel works nice for a, for a glider. Or if you're on carpet, I have an Amazon Prime package um, or some kind of packing, packing or even like a really good thick piece of plastic, sheet of plastic that you can use to put your feet on will work really well. All right, we're gonna do some glider work here today, as you can see. Um, right now, we're just gonna get started on our backs to begin. So go ahead and lay down. Oh, that feels nice. Go ahead and lay down. All right, hands are at your side. We're gonna start very nice and controlled here. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, reach those hands towards your hips. Curving that upper body. Reaching your arms overhead. And exhale, reaching through. Inhale, arms overhead. Big stretch here. Maybe just warming up for the first time today. Or maybe this is kind of the end cap to your workout. Maybe you're doing this with your family, your friends. Whatever situation you're in, let's just warm up that core, warm up the shoulders. Hold the reach through here and start to lift your right foot up. Now my right might look left to you and that's fine. And then gently lift up the other leg, flex your heels, push those legs to the front. So to make it easier, you go higher. To make it more intense, we're going lower. And then toes point, pulling it back in and tap those feet down. This time, other leg lifts. Reaching it up, other leg joins it, flex your heels, push them out. Good, again, you can go lower to make it more intense, higher for less intensity. All right, and then toe point, pulling it back in, softly landing. Let's do that other leg, lifting up, other leg joins it, heel flex, pushing it out. You can always use your hands, a little, little shelf, hold, and then toe point, pulling it back in and landing it soft. So we're just warming up the hips, knees, joints, ankle joints. Other leg up, up, flex those heels, pushing it out. Oh man, feel the burn, feel those little isolated muscles here, big isolated muscles. And then toe point, pulling it back in, landing softly. All right, now both feet come up at the same time. Up, heel flex, press out, hold for three, two, one, pull it back in and land it soft. You can always use your hands behind your head. Let's do that again. We're going four more times through, three more times, excuse me. Pressing it out, hold three, two, one, bring it back in and down. All right, the best two yet. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling that core. Pressing it out. Two, one, pull it back in, soft toe point, soft landing like you're landing on glass. All right, bring it in, up. Flex those heels out. Three, two, bring it in, soft toe point, and land it soft. Good, now we're gonna get into those obliques. I want you to lift through that upper torso and then lift this time, rotate, center and down. Lift, rotate, we're switching sides each time. Lift, oblique, getting that shoulder to lift off of your mat. Side core really firing, especially on the rotation. That's where it fires. Adding on that leg lift, opposite side. So opposite side, in and down. Up, opposite knee, to elbow and down. Be very careful not to pull at your neck here. Keeping nice little shelf, a nice little shelf. Move your hands back. Up, cross, in and down. All right, you have one more each side in those oblique warm-ups here. And then last one, and down. Now I'd like you to bring your hands underneath your hips. All right, you're gonna flex your heels, push the heels out, and then circle them around, and then pull them back in. Push the heels out. I'm gonna toe point now in the circle, and then pull them back in, heel flex. 
So I just have a little bit, bit of elevation on my hips here, just to kind of change it up a little bit, change that level, change that leverage. Watch your lower back so it doesn't, doesn't sway. I want you to stay structured and strong, nice neutral spine and strong core here. Push out, circle around, pull it in and out. All right, give me two more, slow, controlled. I'm moving at a slower, space, slower pace today. I want you to really feel each part of the exercise. And down, bring those hips up. All right, now we're gonna focus on those hamstrings and those glutes and still core. Even when you're in a bridge pose, so your heels are right underneath your hips, your heels are right underneath your knees, excuse me. And you're going to lift each shoulder blade, kind of squeeze them in and down. Hips are nice and high. And melt it down, down, two, up, two, down, two. Melting your spine as you go down. Peel it off. Melt it down. One thing that will kind of happen sometimes is we get really tense in those shoulders and the neck. Try to take that tension out. Put all the work in the core and the hamstrings and the glutes. Give me two more hip thrusts here. And your last one. You're gonna hold those hips up nice and high. Square up those knees nice and parallel to your hip flexors. Kick your leg out and hold. Keep that soft toe point stretch in the front of the foot. Try to square up those hips, lift them up just a little bit higher, woo! Stay active through your core. Don't lift that leg up high. Flex your heel. Feel that stretch in your hamstring. Now lower it down and up and lower and lift. Breathing through this crew. Find focus until we are totally finished with this. Yes, we are. You have four. I don't know about you, but I'm really feeling that leg that's on the floor. Two. And one, Woo. all right, bring it down, other leg, toe point, this one's not as bad because you got a little break with this one lifting. Again, keeping those hips square, shoulders relaxed, toe point, and heel flex. Oh, we wanted to hold the heel up, sorry about that, whoops. Hold it up, square up those hips, and bring it down, toe point, heel flex, so point, heel flex. Keep pushing. I'm with you, crew. We're in this together, getting stronger together. You have four, three, really firing those hamstrings, glutes back, two, core, and one more. I love that stretch of my hamstring on that high leg and down. Keep those hips up high, lift your heels. Walk your feet in closer. Woo. Now open your knees out, in, and out, and in. Option to bring your hands overhead. So this whole exercise or this whole routine today will be either on your mat, no standing today. We're just going to be planking or sitting or laying down on our mat today. All right, you have four, three, Knees wide, open in two, and hold it wide right here. Hold the hips up, 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 up. Feel that squeeze, feel the burn, yearning of those glutes. And three, two, melting it down. Knees come back together. Give yourself a good hug here. Whew, grabbing those ankles, feet, whatever works for you. All right, we're gonna turn around. I want to fold my mat up halfway. I'm going to grab whatever my glider may be. See, I'm gonna use a towel because I have a hardwood floor. All right, I do like these hand towels. They're just kind of a nice half seeds. You can put both feet on them. It's my favorite size for this. Okay, I'm gonna go into an elbow plank now. Both feet are on the towel. Going into that elbow plank. I'm gonna go at the edge of my mat, gazing forward, soften those knees a little bit, Hips up high, don't swoop them down low. That will really strain your lower back. Start to walk your elbows up all the way to the edge of your mat and then back. 
This is really going to spike your heart rate up. Yes, it will. Woo now this can be done without gliders too. This would be the no glider option. You just crawl. Still good stuff. Not as smooth, but still good stuff. All right, keep it up. Doesn't take long to feel these. No, it doesn't. You're almost through the plank walks, the elbow plank walks, the push here. All right, give me four. And three. Last two, you get a break. And one. Knees in. Drop those hips, arms go long. Whoa. Feeling that. <sighs> Breathing through that. All right, now we're going to go into a hand plank. So go onto those hands, gazing forward, core active. Feet go back. So this would be option on the no glider. Up, up, back, back, or hop and back. Hopping will get your heart rate up more. All right, here's the glider option. Pull it in and back. Ready, set, let's go. Head up. So if you're looking and you can see your knees the whole time, that's uh, bad for your neck. I want you to keep the head up, gaze forward. Look at the edge of your mat. Feel the fire in the quads, in the core. Yes, feel a burn. All right, give me four, three, almost there, two, and one. Woo, bring it in, shake it out. Okay, we've got side plank next. So, you're gonna be on your side. I'm gonna have my top foot on the glider. So, option one, you're on your knee. Glide forward and back, forward and back. Putting stuff up in the front there. All right, ready? Can be down the foot too. Bring that foot a little forward more. Bring it forward and back. Let's go, forward and back. So you can have your knee lifted and bent in front of you. Gliding it up and back. Awesome. Oh yeah, I'm feeling this. You got it. Give me four, three, woo, two. Hold it in front. Hold it in front right here. Flip it over. Hold it. Hips up. Bring it back. Hold it. Bring it forward. Hips up. Bring it back. Open up. Good. Up. I know you're thinking, well, this kind of looks odd. A little odd angle, that's all right. That is okay. You have four, three, two, and one. Hold that plank. Bring those feet back further now. Wiggle them out, holding for eight, seven. Gaze forward. Try not to droop that head. Woo, and down. Awesome job. I'm gonna flip my mat so I can see you. You can do the same thing if you'd like. Side plank. Changing feet, option one. You're on the knee, if that bothers your knee. Your knee is on your mat, should I said that earlier. All right, let's do it. So my knee's in front, I'm not setting it down to make it more intense. That's up to you. Whoa, feeling the burn. Good. Now one thing too, I'm feeling my quads. If your knee is elevated, really feeling the obliques and quads, outer glutes, inner thighs. You have four. Here's three, two, the best one yet. Hold it in front, hold it back, plank hip lift, and then open it back up. Plank hip lift, open it back up. Oh, squeaky legs here. Squeaky feet. Woo! <laughs> All right, three, two. Hold your plank here. Bring those feet back, holding it out. You have eight, seven, six. I'd rather have your hips up a little higher than swooping low and hurting your back. For three, two, one. And done. Shake it out. Good. 
All right, our next thing, we're gonna flip our mat over one more time and seated work to finish off. I'm gonna face you. All right. So we're gonna lean back, arms are out, chest is up, option one, one foot, holding here. Option two, harder, both feet holding here. Reach your arms up and up and down, down, bring it up. Up, down, down, four, three, yes, breathe, breathe. It can be harder, straight legs in two, keep going. And one more, up, up, down, down, rest. All right, other leg. So if you did one leg, do the other leg this time. If you did both legs, do it again, why not, right? All right, arms are out, lifting up, up, down, down. Focused until the finish here. Try not to go too fast. Feel the work, especially on the lift here. Engage. Two more, lifting up, up, down, down, and fast one, up and up, down. Stay here. Lower down, lower down, lower down, hover, hold. Stay here with me, crew. You can always sit those feet down, just lift through your upper body. Stay here though with me for four, for three. This is the home stretch, two. Bring it up slow, oh, use your hands if you need. You are done, good job. All right, you gotta work through those hips here. So let's bring the bottoms of the feet together. Go ahead and rock it side to side. That was great. And breathe, nice, all right. We're gonna go on those knees. I want you to bring your arm overhead. Big side body stretch, think of opening through your hips. Did a lot of front fold stuff today. Some back work, remember those hip lifts that we did? Worked the back side and the front side today. The sides, all right. Reaching it up and over, other side. Maybe rounding out your wrist a little bit. And then we're going to some cat cows too to finish off today. So going to your cow, open through the chest. And then we're on through for a cat. Feeling that spine long lengthen, curving through that back. And center, lift your one arm up, open through that chest, run at your wrist a little bit, and swoop it under, dropping it down, feeling that stretch in the back of your arm, and then bring it up, let's do the other side, I'll face you, reaching it up, open through that chest, and swooping it under. Kind of leaning away from the hand on the floor, feeling more opening in your backside. All right, bringing it back center and up. All right, thank you so much for joining today. Let's all take a nice inhale up. Exhale out. One more time, inhaling up. Exhaling out. Again, thanks for joining. Have a great day ahead. Bye.